Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily and this year I will be a second year fourth grade teacher in Kentucky. Okay, so kind of lots to catch you up on. I'm gonna try and set my phone down so I'm not like shaky. <laughs> One second. Okay, that's better, I'm not a shaky. Okay, so today I guess is class technically classroom set up day three on my youtube channel but in real life it's day four so i came in um last week today is monday august 2nd and i came in last wednesday um and did a few more things in my room but i didn't film it because i had friends here and i didn't want to have to vlog with them you know <laughs> so before we get started on what i need to do today i'm going to give you a quick uh look around at what we got done last week so that you know where we're starting today let's go Okay, let me give you an overview. This didn't really change much. Coming around. This didn't really change. These are some materials that some teachers have dropped off to me. These are crayons. Maybe, actually I did that last week, so I'll have to show you what those are. Um, my voice levels are over here. I ran out of transfer tape, so I wasn't able to put them up, but I got some this weekend, so I'm able to do that now. Let me talk about these crowns while I'm here. So last year I gave them crown boxes, just regular crown boxes. The cardboard, I seriously swear, was destroyed within like five minutes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's a little bit extreme. But at least like, you know, within the first like week or so. So I found these at Walmart this year. They are just little boxes like this that hold a 24 pack of crayons. So that is what their crayons are going to be in this year. Hopefully these last longer. This is so aesthetically pleasing to me. Um, there's a picture of this on my Instagram. If you want to follow me there at miss.bees.class. Um, just because it looks really cool. <laughs> so hopefully that'll fix our crayon problem. Here's an overview. My table's a mess of things that I've brought in this time. This all kind of looks the same. Um, last week I kind of worked on my class store a little bit. I will talk about this later on, but I got started on that. Um, I put these bins here for now. Mm -hmm. This is a big thing from last week when a, a teacher was getting rid of it and I wanted kind of a podium to put my laptop on and where I could have my back to the board and not to the classroom. So I'm hoping this is gonna fix that. It kind of, I decorated it and it kind of fell off. So I need to fix that. Um, my library got finished the other day. So this was already there, but we organized these books and put them back up. Um, these are some books that wouldn't fit over there. And then like picture books that I've gotten. This is all my supplies that I will need up at my podium, I'm calling it. I got these spice racks off of Amazon and they like, seriously, like... <laughs> The magnet is so strong on them, but um, I'm gonna use it for uh, our read-alouds and stuff like that. I still need to fix those when I, from when I just kind of put them up. Oh, you know what? Let me plug in my lights. There we go. That's better. <laughs> hmm, okay, so library is done for the most part. This is how this is looking. I have these bookshelves from Target. I have three of them. I bought one during student teaching and I bought two last summer. They were on sale again this weekend, so I got another one and my goal or my thought is to put it here. So then it's like even, I just, you know, go with me. <laughs> it was on sale, so I had to get it. So I'm gonna replace this one. I'm gonna put it probably out in the hallway because I don't think I'll need it. Um, and I'm gonna put the white bookshelf there. And this all looks the same. Those bins still look the same. Oh, my desks. I put them in groups of four. However, we just found out that they are not allowed to be facing different directions. So um, I did find out that we could put them in pods. So I'm gonna have like groups of two throughout the room and they're all gonna have to face this way. So I wish, I wish we could do it like this, but it's not gonna work. So that's okay, I'll move those probably tomorrow. I don't feel like moving desks today. Um, nothing else has really changed over here. Oh, because they can't be in groups, that means no share supplies. So I was gonna give these away, but as much as I'm not a fan of crayon boxes, we're gonna just use them. I'll just clean them out. Um, I did this on Wednesday of last week. This is gonna be my turn in bin. It's a little dusty, so I need to clean it off. But I printed out these labels and just, I hot glued them onto here so they shouldn't move. Reading, writing, math, science. And then we're back to the front. And this 
over here is that bookshelf I was talking about, so. I don't know if it's gonna flip, hold on. There we go, there's a bookshelf. So I'm gonna build that probably today. Okay, so now that you have seen, sorry, let me fix this, there we go. Now that you've seen the state of the room today, I wanna to walk you through what I wanna get done while I'm here. First things first, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> um, earlier today, I printed out labels for different folders and notebooks. So I wanna label those things. So I have uh, these say take home folder. So the, the idea is that the student would put their name on that and then this would be their take home folder label. I did one for math. So this just says math folder with their name. Um, for these labels, all I did was go on the Avery website. Avery is like the brand of um, labels that you can get. And I picked the like 30 per page uh, labels. They have a bunch of different designs already made for you. So you just have to pick it and like customize the text to what you want. So that's what I did. This is a, uh, this is the most math symbol I could find because it has the uh, protractor and scissors. Yeah, I don't know. So math folder. <laughs> um, then I have their one for their writing journal with a little pencil. Um, I have one for reading. It has a bunch of books on it, the reading folder. And then I did a science folder and it has plants on it. So those are all the labels. However, I didn't have any Avery labels and I wasn't gonna go out and buy some because I knew I had sticker paper. So I just printed out the labels like this on sticker paper and I have um, a little cutter that I can cut straight lines with. So I'll just cut them out myself, it's not a big deal. Um, and then those are gonna go, I have purple folders, blue folders, yellow, green, and then I have um, compositional books for their journals. So that is that. Um, I said this weekend I got transfer tape for my voice levels, so I'm gonna put those up. I made call out sticks today. So these are inspired by Primary Please, I believe on Instagram. Um, they're like little cactus <laughs> sticks. So they just have different numbers on them. I was gonna do like vinyl, but I did not have patience for that. So I just wrote on there. So they're not as cute as they could be, but um, they are in this little mason jar for now. Um, I'm gonna do a class store. So on uh, Amazon, I bought little tickets. Um, and my th thought process is I would give them a ticket for um, good behavior and when they're following directions. And then on Fridays, I'm gonna open our class store and they can come and shop with however many tickets they have. This is gonna be like my behavioral management system because I didn't really have one at the end of last year just because it was a crazy year. So I knew I needed something in place. That hints the class store. So tickets, they're gonna buy stuff. So far I've got, it's very heavily one-sided. If I turn it around, you can kind of see. I got many erasers and stickers in here so far, but I am gonna add other stuff. But I thought they needed a place to store all their tickets because you know they would get those would get lost inside of their desk. So this weekend I went to the dollar store and I found these containers. Um, I figured they'll fill up there or they'll when they get a ticket they'll put it in here and that will be that. What else do I need to update you on? I got some things from my Amazon wish list, which is super nice. So if you um, want to donate to my classroom, you can do so by using my Amazon wish list. It will be linked down below. I've got some books. First is Who Was Harriet Tubman and Who Was Martin Luther King Jr. I've got this one, it's called No Fixed Address. The Last Kids on Earth a graphic novel. And it's so funny because I just bought this. Uh, actually, oh my goodness, no. Okay, so this one is just the regular book, but I do have the graphic novel version of this and I just bought it like two weeks ago and I didn't know somebody got it on my wish list. But that's okay, it's good to have two. Okay, this one's called Home of the Brave and Fish in a Tree. So I'm super excited to add those to my library. That's also kind of the reason why I got another bookshelf is because that one over there is full and I know I'm gonna need to add through it throughout the year when I get new books and stuff. So I'm just gonna go over to the other side. Um, my grandma also got me some things on my wish list. One of those being this laminator, which I'm super excited about. I have one at home now and one here. She also got those spice racks that I added up on the board. Um, she also got me some of these magnets. I need these all the time for just random things like around the room. So I went ahead and grabbed some. 
And yeah, I'm talking a mile a minute. Um, I'm just trying to get through everything so that I can get started on actual, actual classroom setup stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is cut out these labels and um, get started on putting, putting those on the different things they go on. So here we go. Okay, friends, I've finished the folders. Here they are. They're just all labeled and I have them lined up here for now. And I thought I had composition notebooks, but I don't. So I think I ordered some, like with my school supply list this year. So I will do those at another time. I have a few extras of each label. That way, in case if I get any more kids, I can get more folders and label them. And then the other thing I was working on was putting transfer tape on all that vinyl for my voices. And here's how that's looking. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, at first, I just had that vinyl on there by itself, and I was like, something seems off. <laughs> so I grabbed some washi tape that I had left over from last summer, and I added it there. This same washi tape is also right here, so I thought it matched well. I didn't use that same kind, so I was like, mm, maybe that's too much. So here's how this is looking. Um, and there was another blank space up here, so I grabbed one of those succulents from the Schoolgirl Style Pack I had, and I added it up there. Um, and it's actually just on with some magnets that I had. Remember, I just said I use those all the time. So, threw those on there, and that's how that's looking. Um, there are batteries in each of them, so they do turn on if I touch it right. <laughs> Obviously, there would only be one on at a time, but that's how that's looking. I'm super excited about how it turned out. Okay, so I started the bookshelf, and I finished it. It is over here. Um, the custodians came and got that last uh, brown bookshelf, so that's gone. Here's the thing. I wanted to put this exactly where it was, so it's kind of like a, like a shaped, like cozy little library. But I also kind of wanted it against the wall, like with these other two. I got this at Big Lots last year, and it was up on the wall. And I want this bookshelf to be with the other two, but I can't do that unless I scoop this up. So I took it down. Um, and I have it hanging with command strips, so those will come off, um, pretty easily. I'm sad I have to, like, I won't be able to use these ones again. However, I do have some more that I didn't use last year, so it'll be okay. I'll be able to put it back up just a little bit higher. I'll need to move that up a little bit, too. And this one might be come down. Well, actually, it does need to come down because this thing is right there. So, I don't need it twice. Okay, so... Let me fix this. Okay, I got that on and on there. I got it there. Um, the sun is hung. That poster is back up there. I love the placement even more. I need something right here. And actually, these posters are from Emma and Elementary, I want to say. Um, I got them last year. I have another one over here. Um, so I need to put a third one right here. And that's the one that I had that says this costume is better use because, because you're in it. And I need to reprint one that says something else. And that'll be that. Now I need to clean up my mess. As far as what's going to go on these bookshelves, I'm not really sure yet. Also, I know the, this, the back of these two have that spotted stuff on them. And that is actually border. Um, I did get this contact paper from Target. This stuff is so hard to work with. I'm not a fan. I've used contact paper before. I actually bought some, excuse my mess, from Walmart last year that's on this thing. So much easier on here. Um, it actually is sticking. Whereas this one, I came in today and there were so many air bubbles in it and I like made sure to like get them all out last time. Like when I put, the, put it on and they're still there. I even used like my scraper that I use with like my Cricut. So that's really annoying. I don't really want to deal with putting that on here. So I don't know if I want to take that stuff out. Like those, because it's just on there with tape. Like that'll come out easily. Or if like, I don't even want to bother with that. Because this one is going to be covered with either books like this. Or I'm going to put picture books on it. Yeah, I haven't decided yet. But it's there for now. I have a rug at home that goes right here. I think I'm going to bring it in tomorrow. Because they haven't said anything about rugs yet. But it's like a small one. I did get a big one for up here, but I don't really want to bring it in just yet. So I'm really torn. I don't know what to do with this. So let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas or suggestions with what I should put on it. Also, I love having three of these stacked up like beside each other because this counter space is kind of a lot and I'm living for it. 
Um, obviously, I've got stuff on it right now, but um, I might, if I need to move that stuff to have like different things on it, then I can do that too. But yeah, here's the library. Okay, friends, that's all I'm gonna get done today. It is about 8.15 and I have not eaten dinner yet. So I'm gonna go home, eat some dinner and recoup before I come back in tomorrow. Tomorrow, honestly, might be the last day of costume setup because I really don't have that much other stuff to do. Who knows, we will see. Um, so make sure you follow me on Instagram so you know the whole story. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys when I see you. Have a great day, bye.